Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm the Transport Geek and today I will be showing you how to edit your AI list so you can see your very own buses in your map. So first of all we're going to want to open File Explorer and you would need to open your vehicle section up here and you also need to go to OMSI 2 Maps and go into the map that you want to select. Today I'm doing Cotterell However, whatever you have in here is up to you. You edit it, whatever map you want, it's all the same. However, I'm going back to vehicles here, but I suggest you keep the other one open. I have opened in here the AI lists, which I should probably show you, in fact. Um, what you do is you go into the map that you want, so for example, Cotterell, and you click AI lists, and it will open this notepad on the right here. Um, so what you want to do is go into OMSI 2, click Vehicles, and select the vehicle you want to use. Today I'm editing my AI list, and I'm selecting the ALX 400 by V3D. So I'm aware that this is my first tutorial video. It's probably not up to scratch. However, I hope it does help anyone that's watching this in any way. So what you want to do is you want to rename this here or whatever bus you want to use in your game you can either press F2 like I have or right click and rename you want to control C or copy and this will copy the name you can type it but I recommend copying it as it you need it exact or else it will not work in here that's highlighted you want to edit this okay you want to edit this section specifically with the bit that you have just renamed this is so that the game can find it and go through the files correctly so you control V or paste and in there you can see the bus that we want to use now you want to find the exact version of the bus so say for the studio polygon renown right there's different variants you want to select the variant that you want so for example down here is the different variants i have so there's the 215 horsepower or the 250 horsepower and then these here and that one there are add-ons so wonky wipers or doors that don't close properly however because it's ai i'm not really particularly bothered about seeing that so I'm picking this one here. Again, you want to rename it and you want to select or you want to put it in here. Make sure dot bus is at the end as it is a bus file here. If there is no dot bus, it will not work. I have experienced this before. Now you want to go in to the vehicles which we're in currently and you want to find the bus number. So numbers ALX 400 or will co most commonly say NOS and then the bus you want to click on that and it will come up with all the bus numbers available I'm just going to pick five at random and I'm going to copy them over into the notepad here for the AI lists so again I'm just picking random you pick whatever you want so it's for me it's just easier to go down you copy and paste it over again you can write them in but it's more accurate to do the do it as i am doing or else it may not go correctly like i've just messed up there And then after you have done the, reg the numbers, you want to move on to registrations. These are the bus registrations here. You want to find the notepad for them. So I'm not saving that. So you go into the bus again. And you're looking for regs. Again, it should come up the same on most buses. So again, I'm just picking the top five. You can pick whatever you want. Um, yeah. And then afterwards, you're going to want to find a livery that you want.
um, it is extremely important that you change the numbers and change the registration plates or else it will fail to load in the bus uh, because it does not have the required stuff that is in these files for this certain bus. So as we can see up here, the way it's going to work is the game is going to go into vehicles, it's going to find this bus here and it is going to go to this exact variant of the dot bus, which is the file. And then it's going to search for these numbers and these registration plates. That's what will show up in the game. Whatever registration you put is the registration that will show in the game. Okay. And for the livery, you want to go back to vehicles. Texture. Repaints. And select your repaint. I'm going to be using TransLink repaints because... Translink is my home bus company, however you may have Stagecoach first or whatever is your home company or whatever you want to use. You want to go into the CTI file here, double click it and it will open up your file here. If you're on a Studio Polygon or Master Deck or Master Switch, sorry, um, if those are the buses that you own, you will want, this is where you would most commonly come to change the set bars. It is that's the same place that you want to go so just drag this over here this is for the livery that you're doing so for the street deck it's just called Irby however these ones are called Translink Ulster Bus 2001 it may say stagecoach variant whatever I don't know what it says but for me this is what it says it's the item that you want and it's the name that is your repaint so I'm going to scroll down here and look for 2005 which is here and again you're looking for the most top one so say that one there Translink Ulster Bus 2005 you copy it and you paste it in here you can have different liveries as long as it's for the same variant if this repaint is not in that type of variant or if it's in a different bus, it will not show up. So make sure it's the correct variant that this repaint is in. Um, you can use different repaints. So I could select between these older versions and these newer versions. It'll show up per bus. But I'm plain and simple. I like them the same. Then for down here, this is an example of an error that I have made in the past, which we're going to fix now. So you can see it goes to vehicles, it'll go to the veiling pack. However, a B7TL ALX is not in the veiling pack, therefore it's not going to show up. So we're going to fix that now. Another reason why I'm here editing these. So again, I would choose AL, the ALX. However, I'll show you another bus, for example, the Enviro 200. Again, you're going to want to go to numbers. So this is obviously the 8.9 and the 11.5. I'm going for 11.5. And unfortunately, there's only two bus numbers, which we'll do because we only have two here. So 1501 and 1502. Simple. Then your registration. So again, regs 11.5. Obviously, there's no dot in there, but common sense something I don't have but anyway control C control V and same here shut that down and your repaint so again texture repaints and of course I have all these different repaints in here um, I might use Simply Connect. This is on Bus Company Simulator. This is the only air you can only get it in their Discord server. Um, but I, I like this repaint if I'm going to be completely honest. So again, just copy that name and paste it. Simple as. And then lastly, if you don't forget, you want to go to the vehicle. You're going to rename it, select it in here, and paste. You're going to go in there, 
select the bus file it will end in bus file there so this one here is the one I'm looking for control C and in there control B okay I'm not going to edit these I'm perfectly fine if they pop up they should do I'm going to now load the game and hopefully they pop up and are driving about um, for some reason for Cotterell it isn't however if it does not I'll load West Country and show you that it does work it could just be my version of the map but this is how you do it if you're interested in seeing it working continue if not I hope this has helped you and I'll see you in the next one if you're leaving now but if you want to see it working I'll show you and I'll see you there so I've just loaded into Cotterell here and unfortunately there is no sign of any AI buses I've just driven up here very fastly and improperly but there is not a sign of any AI buses so what I'm going to do now is show you my West Country AI list and there is links at the end of this video if you want to check out my other videos you will see AI buses loading in and it is exactly the same as how I've showed you it is a genuine way unfortunately I just it's just not working for me which is of course no help so let me just get them here uh, should know my own way around the computer now and in West Country 3 if you open the AI list it is exactly the same same buses that I had before so it is obviously my map version that's either out of date or just not working which I do apologize for but it is exactly the same as you can see there all of them are there the majority of them show up others won't show up for example this bus here won't show up and these buses here won't show up because they're on the route 122 which is only in the summertime that's why they're not there otherwise these other buses here like the metros and the RBs, they all show up properly so it is exactly the same way entering it there entering your livery number and registration plate so i know i couldn't show you however i hope this has helped you if you've managed to watch through to the end if you have please like my video i would greatly appreciate it and in the meantime i'll see you for another omsi 2 video enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in another one bye